Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna create some tutorial uh, to using uh, that branch on the Flutterflow. So as we know, uh, Flutterflow has some widget to call uh, calendar picker or that picker, call that picker, and then we can use it, uh, that widget to, to set up for the parameter but uh, sometimes uh, we need to that picker to set up for the start that and end that to our parameter so uh, the best practice that flutterflow give to us is to set up uh, to that picker and but uh, i found a great uh, custom widget this is a free custom widget from from Oliver, I'm sorry if uh, that's a wrong pronounce. Uh, call that range speaker, and this is uh, this is free. And I will share the link on the uh, this uh, video this video description. And after that, uh, we just need to click add now button. After that, after you click this button the the item will be will be on your list on the marketplace on the real profile and after that uh, you just need to click add to project and uh, choose uh, your project As you can see, the custom widget successfully added to my project. And if we are read about uh, the instruction of uh, how to use this custom widget, uh, the first one is uh, we need to add two apps that with uh, data type data time. So we're gonna to create it go to appstat and add appstat the time and create another one After that, uh, we need to go back to the custom widget and uh, and we need to rebuild the custom widget. Okay, um, when uh, the custom widget uh, successfully get this chart button after that uh, we go to the page and we just need to add the custom widget and after that we need to set up for the dimension for example Ninety percent and hate for fifty pixel. And after that, uh, if if you want to set up for the initial start that and end that, you can also set up for this uh, properties. And I'm gonna to run this project.
okay the uh, for initial for initial uh, the custom widget showing uh, this text then when we click for the for the custom widget this is will be show for the calendar view and we can uh, set up for the that ring and if we click save button the app stat value will be a chain so we can use the app stat value start that and end that to our uh, parameter and I think uh, for the initial uh, initial tax this also can be uh, can be modified by uh, your own tax so uh, that's it for this video I will share this uh, this uh, project URL so you can clone the project and then also the marketplace URL uh, about the this uh, this awesome uh, custom widget okay uh, thank you for watching this video bye bye